What's up guys? Alright, today I'm going to do a quick subject on how to deal with angry tenants. Now, what's prompted me to make this video, this is a video that I've wanted to make for such a long time. And yesterday kind of pushed me to go ahead and make this video and kind of provide some tips to you guys to how to deal with angry residents. Because as you know, if you've been in this business, for a while, you know that every property has that one angry tenant. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go ahead and break down to you exactly what steps you need to take when it comes to dealing with angry residents. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Number one, whenever you have an angry resident or an angry tenant, and it's almost like there's nothing that, that can please them. And sometimes it could be that they're going through some personal stuff and they just need someone to take it out on. And that person may just be you at the time. So the first thing you want to do is that you want to say as less as possible. Try not to speak. The only thing that you want to do is ask questions uh, about the job. Ask them questions about their issue. So therefore you can get a better knowledge of what's going on so you can go ahead and take care of it. So the less you say, the better off you'll be. For two, you want to go ahead and you want to solve the issue that day, okay? So you do what you gotta do to make sure that that issue is resolved that day. If it's a part that has to be ordered or if it's out of stock, if you have to, I don't know what your company policy is, but for me, if I need a certain part and it's not in stock and I'm waiting for that part to come in, I'll go to a vacant unit, pull it off of the vacant unit, and take it to their apartment just so I can go ahead and get them squared away. And when that new part comes in that needs to be ordered, then I'll take that part and put it inside the vacant unit. So number two, you always wanna make sure that you take care of them that day. Number three, most important, you want to document everything. I don't care what it is, you document everything. You want to document exactly what you told the resident, exactly what you've done, what parts you've replaced, all of that type of stuff. So therefore, that resident can't come back and say, well, hey, he didn't go and do this, he didn't go and do that. When you document everything, you cover yourself because you may have done the work, but if you don't properly document what you've done, whatever that resident says is going to kind of trump what you say, unless you have it documented. But if you have it documented, you can say, hey, look, listen, I did X, Y, and Z, and this is what I've done. You can go and you can check it out yourself. I've been put in the situations to where without proper documentation, I've I wouldn't say I've gotten written up, but I've kind of gotten reprimanded, but you know, not in a bad way because my property managers, they always understood exactly how some of these residents can be. So they kind of reminded me, hey, Allison, make sure that you document everything that you do. So that's always a, uh, an important rule of thumb for me. There was this guy, there's this guy who lives on our property and he has this kind of happened this week this guy's been saying that a couple of his work orders haven't been done and i've closed these work orders out uh, about a week and a half two weeks ago and i personally went down there and i did it and i actually documented exactly what i did because i knew that this guy was a problem resident and he was from the day he moved in, he was a problem resident. And we got him, uh, he, we didn't get into it, but he got to, he kind of got a little, kind of got a little snappy with me one time and he needed his water heater turned up. So, you know, he got pretty snappy with me and I knew that this guy was gonna be a, I mean, it was gonna be a problem. So what I decided to do is that I just documented everything. So whenever I go to this guy's apartment, I documented everything. And just like now, 
you'll kind of see a couple of video clips that I'm going to show you of me going inside of his apartment, videotaping exactly what I've done because he keeps saying that it's not done and it is done. But you're going to see the full videos and you're going to hear the audio on the next episode of Man vs. Maintenance. So stay tuned for that. Comment, share, thumbs up, like, and you guys drop me a comment and, and tell me how do you guys deal with some of these angry residents and what are the steps that you guys take to kind of cover yourselves. As always, man, this is Alton, Man vs. Maintenance. Have a blessed day.